is never a topic we look forward to dealing with, but it's inevitable for anyone with aging parents. How do we talk to them about future care or living arrangements? Helping us navigate through this sensitive conversation is Dick Edwards, elder care specialist and administrator emeritus at Mayo Clinic. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Now, you've been working with families for a long time. Over the course of, of, of this time, it is so uncomfortable. Well, and it, everyone, everyone's situation is different, but it's still that same conversation. And as you said in your lead in, it is inevitable. Look around this room. Each of us is someone's child. Many have parents still living. And sooner than later, you're going to have to deal with the reality that your parents, maybe your grandparents, are aging. And they are not invincible. They are not immortal. Mm -hmm. They're going to have issues that are unique to their situation. And as adult children, you want to do the right thing. You don't always know what the right thing is. Mm -hmm. You have to ask, have conversations, and sort of grow your understanding of, OK, mom, dad, we want what you want. What do you want? How do you start that conversation when you sit down and you know it's coming? How do you open up? Yeah, well, it, it's hard because for some people, conversations are easy, they're verbal, they have a family tradition of always talking. Uh, for others, those conversations are, 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 are more challenging. So you have to acknowledge how does our family communicate? Who are the cast members in our family's play, Act Three? And, uh, the conversation is not a single occurrence, it's a series of conversations over time, kind of like a recognizance mission where you're growing your awareness with your parents and with your siblings because, boy, you enter in the dynamics of brothers and sisters around these subjects and you've got some interesting chemistry. It can so be very complicated. Yeah, and you just start early and you start slow and you don't, you don't want to be doing this in a crisis. That's the worst mm -hmm. time to do it. You read some books, you come to a, a presentation like we're having this evening and, and you start saying, yeah, we're going to have to deal with this. So we want to do it right. We want to respect our parents. And at the end, we want to be the adult children who can say we have no regrets. And speaking of books, you have a book, I Mom, do. Dad, Let's Talk. Yeah, it's called Mom, Dad, Can We Talk? Insight and Perspectives to Help Us Do What's Best for Our Aging Parent. Uh, and the program this evening sort of builds on that book, so it's going to be full of how-tos and it draws from the experience of others. The book is full of stories from mm -hmm. uh, adult children who have, have traveled this route. Uh, but yes, tonight we're going to be, we're going to be getting down and, and really talking about it. So in terms of that conversation, is it sometimes that you need to talk to someone like yourself, read books, and um, listen to other stories and, and yeah. adapt it to your own personal experiences and yeah, stories? We, yeah, we always learn best from, mm -hmm. from the experience of others, and then we learn how to make that a part of our experience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the authority of the book really isn't my expertise. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the real-life experiences of the real-life people whose stories are told in the book. What's the big uh, t takeaway from this book? The one thing that you really hope people will walk away from or your presentation this, this uh, evening? Start early, plan ahead, and prepare to celebrate because this can be a time of great celebration. What happens when you meet resistance from your parents, when you try to have that talk? Well, you do meet resistance. And interestingly, I find that, that aging parents are far more ready to have these conversations mm -hmm. than kids because kids wow. have trouble dealing with the reality of mom and dad are getting older. Mm -hmm. um, resistance comes, you back off a little bit, you move in, you send a different messenger, and that's part of the evaluation. Who has the best rapport with him? Mm -hmm. Who can talk to her about her drinking, about her getting a little goofy? Mm -hmm. uh, and you do that as kind of an assessment going into the process. Really great advice. Well, you can see Dick Edwards tonight at the Stratford Room at Senior Star in Wexford Place. Registration begins at 5.15, and his presentation is at 6. The event is free, and you can RSVP by calling 816-226-4144. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you. My pleasure. A very important topic. All right.